Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is very special because we are going to see a very important concept of projection of solid. So we'll start with the two stage problem. So basically we will start with the question and then we'll explain the concept related to the, this problem. Now we'll read the question. A square prism side of base 50 mm and axis length 60 mm. So very important information is given. So while reading the question you can mark very important notations like the base is 50 mm. It is a square prism and axis length is equal to 60 mm. So this is very important question, important information. It is kept on the HP on a side of its base such that so it is kept on the hp that is very important information we'll see how why it is important and it is kept on the side it is not kept on the corner or edges it is kept on the side of the base such that its axis who makes the angle axis makes the angle 30 degree with the hp right so this is very important information given related to the question now to start this question always see on which plane it is kept it is kept on the hp so it is directly given so whenever it is mentioned that it is kept on the hp we'll start with drawing the top view so the true shape of this object is visible in the top view so it will be like this it is a square so when it is kept on the vp you can start with the front view so in the front view we will observe a square there okay so remember this is very important when the object is kept on the HP start with the top view when the object is kept on the VP start with the front view okay so remember this point this is very important if you make any mistake during the first stage whole problem will be wrong okay so remember this information throughout the semester okay then we can draw the square either like this or we can draw it in a diamond shape sorry for my drawing so this is a diamond shape it depends on the only one condition if its corner is on the hp so if the corner of the square lies on the hp so we'll go for the diamond if for any other condition we can go with the regular shape two edges are perpendicular to the xy line so we'll start with the question this is a given question we have already marked very important points in that so draw the xy line so above this xy line we'll have the hp plane here and below this we have the vp plane okay so vp related all the drawings will be with respect to this and here xy line is mentioned first we'll draw the square as we have discussed it will be drawn here why because we have seen it now you can keep any distance below this line it is as per you and the sides of this square is equal to 50 mm so all sides will have the 50 mm distance so if you don't know how to draw the square i will explain you you can write it in the comment box i will prepare a separate video for that so first draw the square and then give the name so for the notation always start from the left side so this is the first point always start with the left most part and second is that always go with the anti-clockwise direction means after this point don't jump to this point you should go with this point so this is the second point then the third point and then the fourth point okay so these points are very important while giving the notation what is the first point always start with the left most part and go in the anti-clockwise direction that is very important then we'll find out the midpoint of this object of this square so for that we'll draw the diagonal simply connect the diagonals we'll get the center point here so this is the midpoint or from this point the axis will pass then project this line one two in the upward direction so draw the lines construction line faint lines passing through this much okay don't draw this diagonal too dark so these are the construction lines only so they should be faint only this green green line should be dark so project the lines one two in the upward direction now this point which intersect with the x y line it is named as one dash two dash this is named as one dash two dash similarly we will project the axis point and the edge 4 3 also in the vertical direction okay now this point i will clear the screen so it will be easy for you to view the object so this point is known as 1 dash 2 dash okay so in the front you will use the notations like 1 dash 2 dash 3 dash 4 dash and in the top you will use the notation 1 2 3 4 and 5 this also you should remember then whenever there are two points lie on the same point will 
start with the lowest numbers okay one is smaller than two so one two should be written or one dash two dash should be written it should not be written like two dash and one dash don't make such a mistake here also it should be three dash comma four dash it should not be four dash comma three dash you should avoid such a mistake okay now this point will be next point is three dash comma four dash now the axis length is given so this is the axis so measure the length 60 mm so this is the 60 mm measured length here and complete the rectangle so the prism will look like a square in the top view and it will look like a rectangle in the front view if the base and the axis have the same distance same length then it can be look like a square in top view as well as front view right so you should draw these steps in the front view itself and then also this point shares the same notation like 1 dash 2 dash and this point also share the same notation like 3 dash 4 dash now these are the edges of the base and these are the longer edges right so that is the difference between these two now next condition is given the axis makes an angle 60 degree axis makes an angle 30 degree with the HP it means that your object is lying on the HP on one of the side so one of the side of your prism is lying here so it should be connected with the XY line and this is the sorry again for my drawing and this is the prism and this is the axis of the prism so it makes an angle 30 degree so if you know little bit about the geometry so this angle should be 90 degree and this angle will be 180 minus 30 minus 90 so this should be 60 degree so we'll start drawing our drawing with this point this point is your 3 dash 4 dash so eventually we can say that the edge 3 4 this edge base edge is lying on this hp and it is making an angle 90 minus given angle 60 degree so always you can remember this trick the angle is given you should subtract it from 90 so 90 minus 30 it should be 60 degree so we'll start with the 60 degree so draw one line at an angle of 60 degree here so this point is your point 3 dash 4 dash okay then take a compass measure the distance from 3 dash 4 dash to 1 dash 2 dash and then mark this distance on this line so now this point represent your 1 dash 2 dash point then from this point itself mark the distance up to the axis and mark it on this line so this is the axis distance from 3 dash 4 dash okay after this what we'll do we will mark take the compass keeping 3 dash 4 dash as a center and we will take the radius up to this 3 dash 4 dash so take this distance in your compass again take the metal com metal end of the compass here and mark one line at a distance of 3 dash 4 dash right i will repeat the step after drawing all the points on this line we'll draw this point 3 dash 4 dash for that we'll mark the distance here so for that take the metal end of the compass at 3 dash 4 dash then extend the pencil end up to this 3 dash 4 dash and then keep the metal end on 3 dash 4 dash and mark one arc over here then keep the metal end on 1 dash 2 dash and the pencil end on 3 dash 4 dash so you'll mark this distance from 1 dash 2 dash to 3 dash 4 dash in your compass now keep the metal end on 1 dash 2 dash and mark one more arc over here so we'll get this intersection point this intersection point is 3 dash 4 dash now we can connect this 3 dash 4 dash and then we'll draw one parallel line here and one parallel line here to this line and we get the rectangle so we'll clean this one and again we'll start with the actual procedure i hope you understood how we can draw these lines so this line represent 3 dash 4 dash line so this is a point 3 dash 4 dash I already explained if you don't understood it you can rewatch this video you will come to know how we can plot this 3 dash 4 dash then draw a line parallel to this line okay we don't have actual length of this line so draw the line parallel to this line then next from this point 1 dash 2 dash you can draw one line which is parallel to this line 
<clears throat> so draw one more line there so we have got this rectangle over here so the name of this point is 1 dash 2 dash similarly we can draw the axis here now the axis angle present over here is it should be equal to 30 degree you can recheck that value okay because this angle is 90 degree this is 60 degree so this must be 30 degree angle so in this way we can replot or we can rotate this object as per the given condition i hope you understood up to this now we will come to we have come to the last step of this numerical so for this step we'll first clean it up now we'll project the points from front view to the top view so first we'll project the point from 1 dash 2 dash so draw one line paint line from 3 dash 4 dash draw one more line then from 3 dash 4 dash draw one more vertical line and then from 1 dash 2 dash also draw one vertical line so these lines should be parallel to each other okay then from the top you also take the projection so 1 4 will be projected here 2 3 will be projected here now we need to plot the point now see 1 dash 2 dash point is lie on this line same way one point is lying on this so this point will represent point number one okay next 2 dash point is lying on this line and horizontally it is lying here so this point represent point number two the next point is point 3 dash 4 dash so three point is lying here horizontally it is lying here so this is point number three the next point is point four okay don't get confused between these side points and this side point both have the same notation but you should keep them separate now this is line 1 to vertical so this is point 1 and this is point 2 then this is point 3 and this is point 4 so in this way you can plot the points now most of the student get confused about the hidden lines and the dark line now this knowing which line is dark which line is hidden is also very important without knowing that you should not able to draw it properly you will not get exact marks to get the maximum mark out of this question you should know how we can draw the hidden line and it is very simple first you should know where is the location of observer for this problem if they have not mentioned so the observer will definitely locate on the upper side so from this side he is observing this object now remember this is not a 2d object it is a 3d object so you should be aware of that you should not look into this object from 2d perspective it is a 3d object that you must know so when you observe this object in the downward direction you can see this edge it is completely visible all the points are completely visible to the observer but it is not the case along the this line along this line few points are visible few points are invisible to understand this which points are invisible along this line will uh, will consider one trick that is will draw this axis and below this axis everything is invisible that we consider all the points which lie below this uh, axis are invisible so points in this dark area are invisible that we consider now we'll see which points are visible which are invisible now as we have already discussed as this edge is completely shown it is totally visible this point 1 dash 2 dash and 3 dash 4 dash they are visible so you can draw the square over here now in this case point 1 2 it is totally visible because it is away from this dark region so point 1 2 is visible point 1 4 though it is partially in shaded area partially in all clear area but it constitute a outline so for the outline you must follow the rule outline must be visible every time it is visible so outline should be shown with the help of dark line never you show the outline like this okay internal lines may be hidden but outer line should be visible so that's why this line 1 4 though you have confusion point 1 dash is visible point 4 dash is invisible but it comes on the outer side of this object that's why it is visible point 1 2 is completely visible because it comes in the white area as well as it is an outline so double sure it is a visible line again 2 3 2 3 2 is visible 3 is invisible but it comes on the outer region that's why 2 3 line is visible 
then come to the point 1 4 1 4 and 3 2 both comes on the outline of this object so both should be visible now only one line is remaining 3 4 or 4 3 now 4 3 comes on the dark side it is not a outer line it is an internal line that's why this line you can show with the help of dotted line so this is the final solution of your object so for the hidden lines you can keep some rules like first one outlines must be visible every time they are visible second you can follow the axis rule so if you are observing from the upside if this is the object then the points below the axis must be hidden and if your observer is present at the downside and you are observing an object and this is the axis then upper post side points are invisible and below this below this axis all the points are visible okay by following these simple rules we can easily determine the hidden lines and the dark line if you have any doubt regarding this you can write it in the comment box uh, we'll definitely make few videos related to the three stage problem so that it will be easy for you to solve the question in the given examination if you find this video helpful you can like this video share this video with your friends thank you thank you very much for watching this video